So, exponent energy with the tandem, the duo, the dynamic duo. <laughs> I just need to know who's the Batman and the Robin. I knew you were going to ask that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I could say <laughs> Superman 2. Isn't there a new series out there where it's just all the superheroes in one? Oh, Jesus mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come for us, DC or Marvel. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, how did the, the, the dynamic duo, how did it start? You know, we, uh, we live close by, so we kind of established a, a friendship first, you know, and... Uh, I moved um, into the hood, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I moved into the neighborhood with this guy and... That's, uh, that's right. And all the neighborhood friends. <laughs> so Matt was actually, like, launching some products in the direct-to-consumer space, and, you know, I was always pretty interested in learning about it, and, you know, COVID you know, like it's affected a lot of people, just gave us more time to spend together, right? And there wasn't a whole lot open. And so we did a lot of that. And, and then honestly, um, the short of it is, is that one day I went to, to Matt's house and he was riding high and I asked him what the heck he was on. And he said, well, I just drank uh, uh, an energy drink. And he goes, I just don't- We don't like, say the name here. No, yeah, no, we don't. No, right? okay, makes sense. <laughs> it's like, it's like Harry <laughs> Potter with Voldemort, right? We don't, we don't yeah, exactly, I said the right? name. Oh yeah, you, there you go. You said Bloody it. Bloody Mary, right? Voldemort. I just say it. Yeah. Said it twice. Yeah, I just say it. I, I can say, say Candyman, however many times. That's Maybe right. the lights might shut out. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the, yeah. So we, uh, I went over there. He said he wasn't. He had this energy drink. He obviously liked the way it tasted. Didn't really like it made, the way that made him feel. So, um, literally the next day, um, I stopped to get gas. Went into the variety store and found this more of an organic version that we felt like maybe would align with our lifestyles better. And so I brought them home, I went to Matt's house for a workout. And I said, hey, we should try these. This is kind of maybe more upper alley. And uh, we both opened them and took a taste of them. And we looked at each other, we're like, oh, you know. And so they, no, weren't, no. They, weren't, they weren't very good in our opinion. And so we started really down the road of having a lot more conversations about why no one's been able to really bridge the gap between you know, something that's healthier and better for you and something that actually tastes good. It's like almost as if like you have to concede the fact that if you want something that's better for you, it's just, it's not going to either have the brand appeal and it's maybe not going to taste as good. No, it makes sense. You know, it makes sense. It's more traditional. So design, logo, concepts, I'm seeing a big X. Yeah. X going to give it to you. I know there's a fun fact story about that. Yeah. I heard through the grapevine. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right? Things like that. Uh, oh, you want to yes. share that story? Uh, well, I, I don't like to be the uh, share of my own story. What do you mean? You're on a podcast. What, 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 what are we one? doing? Since we're being authentic here. You know? <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's just that story. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll Probably. take it from here. Right? You'll take it from here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Found, He's a quiet one, eh? Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're on your partner search, you know, you, you do a little digging, right? You find. Yeah. Uh, Actually, it, yeah. Oh my gosh. There's even I can't even <laughs> even thinking about when I'm, when one of my clients who was a young teenage boy. He was probably because back in my training days, and he was 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when he went back to his his mom, he's like, Mom, 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 you, like, you know, I'm like, hey, yeah. you know, my, my video's up. It's when I when I won the Junior World Championships, Muscle Mania, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and so, so he's you like, accomplished, though. You so accolades. Like, yeah. 2011 world champion, you know? Yeah. Just saying. Three, three world champs. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> that sounds like you're the head of the table. You're kind of sitting at the head of the table, yeah? yeah let's, right. let's not go that far, but, you know. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> I told him, like, yeah, yeah, you can you go check it out, right? So he went. He went to go home. He went. Went home. He's like, Mom, you know, you got to check this out. Matt Sterling, my trainer, he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's a world champion. Like, he's on YouTube. <laughs> so this is going a different direction than what Mike is going to go. But they went to go look me up, and they en ended up putting in Matt Sterling with an E. S-T-E. Sterling. So don't do that. He's so that's, that's how that mother was Yikes. first introduced to me. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. But wow. what I meant I to show all him. The I make that mistake. <laughs> all the stories. <laughs> all the stories. <laughs> Which is fine for the other Matt Sterling. But for me, that's, you know, that mother was like, you know, so anyways. She, Have you heard about she, the story? <laughs> Yeah. No, it's funny. Not oh, that one. Matt was concerned about me telling the other version. No, I'm just going to get it out. You know, I'm going to get it out now because if anybody's going to go look up Matt Sterling, they better get it right. Yo, okay. <laughs> Sterling with an eye. Yeah, with Sterling an with an eye. Okay. So, but next to that, the intention was to go, you know, to show, uh, to have him show the mom the ex going to give it to you mm -hmm. video. Yeah, so, sorry. anyways. <laughs> anyways, so years later, here we are, right? No, I love that. I love that. So, yeah. I'm seeing no limits. I'm seeing all these different like what does that say on the side of it, it says plant powered 
Um, I don't not say that word. Adaptogens, nootropics, yeah. electrolytes. Yeah. You know, they always said never say some, never really consume something that you can't say. Well, it's a good thing I can say it. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Well, you guys are the brand, guys. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. If, any, yeah, if anyone should be able to say it, it should be us, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I can give you a little rundown, though. It's, it's interesting how, like, you know, you talk about the X and, like, how maybe it came to be. It was, you know, very much, like, organically how we came up with the brand. You know, we were very much, um, you know, we had some key pieces of the ingredients that we wanted in to formulate a beverage, but also some of the messaging, right, in terms of what we believed in as people. And we felt like, you know, there's others were out there that maybe believed in this, the same, right? Mm -hmm. Really finding your own tribe. But, you know, it was interesting because as we went down the road of trying to establish a brand, you know, the way Exponent came to be is maybe not uh, what more normal people would probably think is just like Matt and I brainstorming and coming up with ideas. It wasn't that way at all. In fact, we read a, we were reading an article on, uh, I think it was like BevNet magazine talking about new brands and, and we, t we found this uh, article about this guy that had published and he had established Monster Energy from a branding perspective in 1999. And so Matt and I look at each other we're like, well, if we can't do it, then we need to go to the experts, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we reached out to him and his firm. And initially, you know, they'd indicated, uh, you know, they had worked with a lot of brands in the past, you know, not really interested in dealing with another energy drink, you know. And so we just basically said, well, why don't you give us 30 minutes of your time? We're going to run our idea past you. Um, you know, in the end, you can either choose to work with us or we can go in a different direction. But all it really cost you was 30 minutes, right? Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. makes sense. So by the end of that, they, they chose to work with us. And they were really like the brainchild behind you know establishing exponent really some sort of like you know exponent being like that smarter you know um you know i would say the sum of its parts in terms of the meaning behind the the, the drink itself and then there's some cool things you know as they establish as a marketing firm would you know obviously you have the x and then you know where the um the position of where an exponent would be mathematically and then this is actually the symbol of what an exponent is right there too. Love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a it's a nice design. I clean. love it. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, we went to them with like you yeah. know the components in which we wanted to have in the beverage, mm -hmm. you know, because we wanted to have a better for you energy drink. Mm -hmm. um, and they did give us options. There was other options other than you know the X like this. Um, but when it came back to like what we really wanted to have that you know that clean look, mm -hmm. that kind of sciencey look, and so on, um, this is it. Yeah, we no, felt like really really good about you it. You know, it's yeah. interesting. Our uh, one of the guys that does some graphic design work for us, we did, we did something unique last week. But regardless, you know, breaking news. Yeah, breaking news. Okay, it's, it's, we can't we can't launch just yet. Not launch it yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no exclusive for the pod. Uh, you'll give you something towards the end. <laughs> okay, know? all right. Okay, okay. okay. Little something. Little yeah, um, like, I feel like Jack Sparrow's gonna come through that door, <laughs> he's or coming. somebody's coming through the door. Yeah, <laughs> just playing off yeah. the words, you know, X. X gonna give it to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, we've seen all kinds of things, right? X marks the spot. A lot of people are talking about various different things. So there's some really cool uh, plays on marketing. Uh, you know, so we're excited about that. But our, uh, our graphic designer happened to say he's like, you know, when I look at the fridge, right, it just looks like cluttered and you know more and more colors more and more designs where we really want to try to simplify things uh, and give that contrast between like you know white and black just adding a little splash of color so our graphic designer said you know what the, those fridges look like ed hardy t-shirts really you remember those back ed hardy it was so long ago <laughs> right but it's like all that like it was like back in the day yeah. we were like that small <laughs> yeah, yeah short it was like well, there's around. so much happening with can like cans in our space like yeah. people have just made them like louder and louder and more uh, more colors, more designs, like I said, and um, you know, simplifying it is actually proven to be a really impactful thing that we're seeing. So I love that. I love that. So, what's the vision? Like, what are we? What are we thinking? It's a new year mm -hmm. when we're looking at this energy drink. I have a lot of questions, kind of going into the show and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Is this something that I see? There's no sugar, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, how many of these can we cons consume on a daily? One, two. Well, <laughs> based on personal tests. <laughs> I feel like this is going somewhere deep. Yeah. No, no. I mean, you know, from a regulatory standpoint, I think we have to be, we always have to be careful of what we recommend, right? True. We are in the caffeine yeah. space, yeah. Yeah. right? So, I mean, right on here, you know, for Health Canada and stuff, we say like, you know, one a day. One right? a day. But that's, I mean, there's like legalities and everything else, right? Yeah. That we want to be mindful I, of. I, I you know? think, and I don't quote me on this, but I think what Health Canada suggests is a maximum of 400 milligrams of caffeine Makes sense, yeah. per day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, our can um, is 120 milligrams. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm you know, by itself, plus whatever you might consume throughout one's day. So, okay. um, you know, Matt's pushed the envelope a little bit, just yeah. to, you know. Check it. Yeah, he's like our, when he's in the bench press. Yeah, the resident lab rat. <laughs> 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 Wait, God. 
what is this? What did I, should I say? P uh, PETA or PETA don't come for us? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've got to be careful with that, you know? That's right. And things yeah. like that. Yeah. All right, all right. So what is, what is something that you guys want to really do, especially in the city, right? I feel yeah. like entrepreneurship is a thing that's opening. You see it in real estate. Yep. You see it in, you know, people selling merch, things like that. We're in one of the guys' merch, B Clutch. Shout out to him, Quinn, the team over there. But uh, what do you guys, what do you guys want to bring to the city? What's the next step? I think, you know, being from London, I mean, just owning our backyard is key in the beginning, right? You know, and then next to that, it's, it's just really sticking to like what we started off with is, you know, putting a better for you beverage, energy drink in people's hands, right? At scale. Mm -hmm. And I think doing it in our backyard is, you know, probably one of the best and fastest ways to do that, right? Oh, definitely. You know, the proximity and, and everything else. So I think, you know, sticking to that, but then having a lot of fun with it as far as, you know, how are we taking, sure. taking over, uh, you know, various verticals and industries, right? Yeah, it's so. interesting, right? Because, you know, when we launched this brand, so we're launching it in Canada um, around, in and around April 1st, mm -hmm. um, which is a great time to do so, obviously, from a climate perspective. And people are, you know, outside, you know, enjoying the weather a little bit more, but... Party. You, yeah, partying. Uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, Matt and I have a lot of conversation. We're having a lot of conversations with distributors, you know, about, you know, now we talk about national launches, which we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about, you know, the, the U.S. market. You know, we're there in conversations go. right now with, you know, Budweiser distributors potentially in okay. the U.S., right? Which wow. is, you know, gives us a huge reach. But, <clears> you know, time. really getting back to, though, to, you know, what we can do in London, right? Is, and, I, and I see an Amazon, Amazon storefront yeah. too, right? Yep. Yeah. I see that. So okay. e e-commerce, yeah. you know, yeah. is, is a big thing for us right now in the U.S. You know, we have fulfillment centers set up across the U.S., which is great, right? But, like, we want to make a big impact in London for sure. Yes, you know, sir. I mean, London's been great to me through, you know, my life in terms of, mm -hmm. you know, the networking and the mm -hmm. friends that... And, you know, connections that have we built. So, um, you know, it's it's exciting to be able to, you know, there's not a whole lot of, honestly, Canadian innovation in the, the beverage space. No, no, absolutely. Right. And, and I see you guys reaching out to different influences in social media, Instagram. Mm -hmm. TikTok yep. and all that good stuff too. Even yeah. sourcing everything out of uh, yeah. Ontario as much as we can as well. We're, we're, yeah, we're producing in Ontario, mm -hmm. um, just here in London actually, with yeah. uh, with a partner. So okay. it's it's exciting to be able to you know you know hire local talent, which is good as we grow to produce locally mm -hmm. in, in London. Of course. And, the, and the cool thing is, is that you know we can produce in London and. As we scale, they can you know sustain that scalability with us. I love so, it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, which love is it. really cool. So okay, yeah. So what does entrepreneurship mean for the both of you guys? You know, I think you know a lot of people talk about you know freedom. You know, in terms of entrepreneurship, but I look at it a little bit differently. For me, um, it's just about being able to make an impact. You know, in you know in a space that you know we never really set out to. Know, specifically to challenge the energy drink sector mm. but for me it's like you know we have an ability to create some change you know and i think that there's a particular narrative that surrounds you know the energy drink space and maybe for good reason right i mean there you know i've had a lot of people as of late even tell me that you know i'm in my 30s now and like i can't be drinking some of the the, the offerings that are out there right now and um, oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna echo that but keep mind <laughs> right and yeah. and you know i think that we evolved it's funny our marketing team said you know, in one of our uh, brand decks, like the reality is, is that some of these drinks that are currently in the marketplace were evolved 10 years before the first iPhone, mm -hmm. right? So the trajectory of our space needs to change, right? And, yeah, and there's some sense. big brands, don't get me wrong, there's some big, big brands out there, right? Mm -hmm. That really control mm -hmm. much of the market, right? But you know what? W there needs to be some challenge in those, yeah. in those spaces, right? And, before, before you answer, and I give it back to you, I feel like when people say they're about consuming, but these are the same people that probably be at Starbucks every single day That's or right. in my, McDonald's drive through getting coffees and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. it's like well, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Or, well, well, I think that there's, there's habits, and I think then there's value too, right? If people see value in what you believe in, right because that's what i think it's all about right we talk about this often right it's people don't buy what you do they buy what what you do they buy why you do it mm. right and if they really believe in what you have created <laughs> and you can create a tribe of people that believe in what you believe in then the you know the sale is really the byproduct of your message right so, 100 yeah. what does entrepreneurship mean for you then yeah and you know i can think back to when i first started you know my whole entrepreneurial journey and it's uh 
I mean, freedom, I guess, you know, I think it was more sold to me in the beginning, yeah. which sure, like it sounds, it sounds great, you know, and, and there is, there can be, I mean, you can work when you want, but guess what? It still has to get done. <laughs> no, so, for sure. Right? 100%. You actually you know? work more. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, so, Long nights. yeah. So, I mean, easy mornings, you know, uh, I think maybe there is, you know, some misconception around that. Although I think, you know, some guys on social media are getting better at clearing that up. But beyond yeah. that, I think, um, a sense of control too, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. being able to like push the envelope. Like I can remember, you know, even just going on vacations after, uh, say when I got married to my wife, you know, and I was still an owner in the gym and I had two other partners where again, that was established way before me, right? I came in and I was on with the business for 10 years and part owner for five, but I can, I can still remember when I came back and I had all these grand ideas and I was like, cause I had time to think. You know, and I've I'd always wanted to push, you know, the gym this way and that. And I remember coming back with, you know, wanting to, and feeling strongly about it. Like, no, this is what we're going to do. Because I was, I was managing the gym. And just the look, at, you know, in some people's faces, they almost look like, like, like you're crazy. Like, oh my God, like, how are you going to do this and this and this? You want to do that? And, 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 you know, the ability to be able to do that or not do that, you know, what you want to do is, is one of those things I think that's kind of pushed me to say, Hey, like, I want to, I want to start my own thing. And, uh, quite frankly, Mike's one of the only other ones that, you know, like when we yeah. have these crazy grand ideas, we can actually bounce off each other yeah. and we're like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, like, you know, right. It's, I think it's like, it's 2023. Like there's nothing that can't be done. Right. Yeah. So like the rest are just excuses to me. It's like, true. You, you might have to be creative. It could, there's, trust me, there's a lot of obstacles in order to get there, whether it be financial sure. or, I mean, there's all kinds of things, right. But things can be done. Mm -hmm. It's just, does your strategy align with that? Do your resources align mm -hmm. with that? But that and, comes and, from a growth mindset. That's right. Yeah. I, you mean, know I mean, I think everybody in this room has got a growth mindset. Yeah. Instead of a fixed mindset, right? Yeah, I yeah. think that in order to achieve what we're looking to achieve and really change the narrative as it re re relates to the energy drink space, I think that, you know, there's going to be a few walls you have to to, to run through, right? No, so, for sure. Yeah. So well, how come I wasn't invited to the launch party? Because this hasn't happened yet, but Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get we gotta yeah. get across the uh the, the country first so it, you bring up a good point so the launch for us really is happening um in april so there's okay. there's gonna be a launch party mm -hmm. and you know honestly you're gonna give up the coordinates for that yes yeah, okay. yeah. it's like yeah. it's i don't know if you've ever seen like the uber thing where it's like mm -hmm. x to the power of x mm -hmm. yeah we'll, so uh, like the gold envelope you just that's right yeah. <laughs> you know? ours will be like bronze like. Right, like <laughs> it's a startup start right okay. you never know yeah, that's right that's you know right. what i mean hey the grammys always, were just last night so you know we always say honestly we say this to each other a lot if you're not a hundred million dollar company act like one I love, right? that. So, I love that. I love that. Um, I love yeah. that. I love that. I love that. And you know, honestly, it's been, it's been a journey, right? Because it's been, we've been, we, we had this, or we had this conversation the other day that mm -hmm. we've been at this almost two years and, you know, we really wanted to make sure that, you know, from a compliance perspective, from a legal perspective, just from an overall formulation and then a market testing, did, does the market believe in what we believe in? Like, we think it's great right we think we created something special and that it can resonate with consumers but at the end of the day they have to tell us yeah. right and the good news is is through that period of time um you know i always say that the the market has spoken in the sense that they validated um kind of our our vision um and more importantly we still have work to do on the messaging side right um that and we're and we're continue or sorry we're continuing to do that uh which is important but that's you know uh, to build that brand the way we want to is going to take you know sure. some time for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. So three flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Go over the three flavors for the new audience. Like, I feel like the well, ones that are listening to this and things like that, right? The OG. I don't know if we have a can nearby, but uh, we started the original uh, was our Sector C flavor, mm -hmm. and then we have Eclipse and, and Blue Nova, which okay. Mike is drinking. Okay. Um, but yeah, from a customer standpoint, I mean, they've all come across really well. You know, everybody's got a different palate. Right. Oh, for sure. I mean, if I was to give you all three, you'd yeah. be like, oh, I like this one the most, yeah. uh, which is great. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that we came out with three because yeah. initially we were going to do one. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a learning experience of this whole thing. So, <laughs> so one's like a blue, the blue one is like a blue raspberry kind okay. of uh, flavor. Yeah. The orange one, Eclipse, is like an orange tangerine kind of yep. base. And then the Sector C is kind of like a, it's citrus notes, but it's more of like a grapefruit kind of. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, we, we kind of took a look at the market in terms of what was popular at the time. Um, you know, we're evolving even further into, as we look into later, uh, 2023, um, what's next, right? Okay. So not just, you know, new flavors, but, um, you know, what other products are, 
you know, are evolving in this category, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we got to, you know, you know, crawl before we can uh, run in just with these products. But I don't think if you're not continually innovating and looking for, you know, what's, you know, evolving into the category, mm -hmm. then we're doing ourselves a disservice. Oh, I love that. So, yeah. Yeah. It so, was interesting, actually, how we came up with starting with some yeah. of these flavors, you know, when okay. Mike, Mike brought back like Talk about <laughs> 30 it. different Talk about brands it. From, uh, from the U.S. <laughs> and, Talk about oh, it. Oh 30 gosh. different? Yeah. yeah 30, so, well, so these, okay. are, these are always funny stories, right? So, like, <laughs> I remember we were getting into this and we had a uh, formulator in California that had, like, food scientists working behind this, um, you know, working through this for us and so i flew to california with like two suitcases and Not three uh two suitcases and okay. very you know just a couple shirts shorts whatever yeah. and came back with two suitcases full of energy drinks um because Antonio Banderas over here yeah <laughs> and, 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 you're probably wondering like what am i smuggling into the canadian <laughs> market? Uh, exponent r d you know <laughs> oh my god you, you can imagine like a year and a half ago like us sitting at a table doing blind testing. Not in the with, office. Yeah, not in Matt's the office. House. <laughs> Matt's boardroom table, also known as kitchen table. Yeah. Um, but literally doing blind <laughs> testing with all these things with like neighbors and friends yeah. and all these things saying like, you know, we didn't tell them what it was. We just asked them to rank them. Yeah. Um, we went to like 30 or 35 of these things. Like it's kind of a cool grassroots story. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody's zooming around the house, you know. Like. Oh, looking like, well, what do we just have here? Yeah. 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 Maybe it's like, what is this? Smaller? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's, uh, it was a, yeah, it was a cool experience, but we needed to figure out, you know, as a broad cross section of people, like mm -hmm. what, what was important, right? In terms of the flavoring, you know, texture in the mouth, all those things, right? Yeah, so, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You coming from gym, you were in corporate? Yep. yep okay. Yep. So in this entrepreneurship journey, what can you give people that are listening to this as like, their first initial step if they want to pursue full out hardcore entrepreneurship. I, I you know, I, I think that, you know, if you want something bad enough, there's there's a path for you to mm -hmm. get there, right? Mm -hmm. Um it doesn't come easy. Um we literally have had challenges every single day. Yeah. But I always say, and this is not a uh, something that anyone's never heard before but don't hold back say what you know but, but i know i truly mm. think that like life doesn't happen to you it happens for you yes sir right mm -hmm. and i sure. think that yeah. you know with all the challenges that maybe presented themselves with us is just one step closer to making the better decision you know as we i mean there's been tons mm -hmm. of stuff that have come up with us where we're like I can't believe this has happened. This is kind of a real pain. Yeah. But then we realized two days later, thank God that happened. So true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so adversity. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, we've always maintained, you know, progression, right. That doesn't matter what comes our way. We're going to manage it and mm -hmm. we're going to continue to be agile, right. And flexible to be able to pivot where necessary. Um, so, but I honestly think that we're, we're in a unique time in, in life, right. In 2023 that, um, yeah, I think that there's only a certain amount. I heard Dana White say this in a. In a uh, Who's Dana White? Dan, Dana White from. Oh, like Dana, White, Dana, Dana White. Yeah, Dana White. Yeah. yeah. He said, like, I just listened to this the other day. He said, like, if you were even remotely a savage in this, in 2023, you're just going to run people over. So true. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. if you were remotely, like, a savage, right? Some people are sheep, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not. I, I mean, I can resonate with what he's saying mm -hmm. in the sense that, mm -hmm. you know, Matt and I were we're okay with the journey, right? It's, mm -hmm. We know there's lots ahead. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing is, is that if you want it bad enough, it's, it's there for you. So true. Right? So, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, for me, I mean, definitely what Mike said, and also just, man, there's probably so many points I could add, but um, focus, right? You know, when you're getting into entrepreneurship, it's, uh, there can be a lot of shiny objects. So true. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, so it's like, whatever you're going to do, like, choose it, but like, really stay focused, you know, on that one thing and go at it, right? Um, even from a day to day basis, I mean, we have to constantly do it and come back and say, I think it was the first thing we said today. Yeah. What's the most important thing we're going to do this week, right? Um, after the weekend and after everything that happened, you know, there were some shiny balls thrown at us last week and it's like, okay, that sounds great. Okay, cool. It's like either shelf it or keep it here. Mm -hmm. But let's remember, like, what's the number one thing like this month, this week, you know, today, right? And it sounds, mm -hmm kind of simple but honestly if you're if you don't know where to start or if you haven't you know got money and cash flow coming in you know you got to focus on well so true what's the most important thing it's today so true right it's you know, so, so true. Yeah. i think yeah. you always you have to go back to some basics sometimes yeah, and sure. just really understand and that. i think that's one of the things a lot of people don't do a lot of people go out there and want to quit their job 
yeah. but don't have a cash flow. Oh so, god! But you yeah. want to pursue entrepreneurship? Yeah, I can speak make to it that. make sense. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Well, they say like the wealthiest place on earth is a graveyard, right? Jesus. Yeah. So like you know, <laughs> it's like a lot of good ideas, but either you know it could be underfunded. You could have mm -hmm. you know the lack of motivation. <laughs> Speaking of the motivation piece, it's like for us, it's really about the discipline to do it, right? The focus, because yeah. you're not going to wake up every day motivated. Mm -hmm. like, you know, you sh ideally speaking, it'd be great, right? But like, if you're disciplined enough to get up and do the work every single day, mm -hmm. um, to Matt's point, like they're really focusing on what those things are mm -hmm. um, and not let anything deter you away from what's most important. Yeah. Um, you know, weeks fly by in a hurry, right? So and true. for us, days and weeks are are so crucial um yeah. you know we're launching like we talked about in, in april and it's not far away people some people would say well you still Two have away, yeah, you still have this and we're like okay yeah, yeah. try to not launch nationally across the country um in eight weeks right so true. we're ready but yeah you know it's of course yeah it doesn't yeah. come easy for sure it's interesting what you said too about people quitting their jobs and yeah. just jumping in like i think it's probably about 10 years almost 10 years straight i worked three jobs Wow. And two of them were full time. And one okay. was out of the, one was out of the country, okay. you know. But I still managed to juggle them. <laughs> it was that's, hard as that's hell. Life though, right? But you I mean, gotta you gotta like. It. So it's like and to you know, kind of like to what Mike was saying. You know, just do what you gotta do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? You know, yeah. if you want to start this thing, like keep it going, focus mm -hmm. hard when you're while you're still making money over years. So mm -hmm. you're not you know putting whatever, whether it's your family or anything yeah. else in jeopardy, so right? True. Well, it's yeah. interesting. And then from an investor perspective, right? You know, obviously. You know, for us to scale the way we need to, we had to need the support of some investors. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, certainly an investor, I, I don't think I'd give my money to anyone that was just dipping their toe into, uh, yeah. you know, a, an opportunity, right? Yeah. I mean, how invested are you um, into the passion in which you're going into entrepreneurship with so if you're not willing to, to do what's, what's necessary? So, so mm -hmm. you know, what I'm hearing a lot in this room is growth mindset, right? Growth mindset. It's always growth. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like you go from level one to level two, level three, level four and five. Mm -hmm. Some people are still stuck on this Tetris screen start level. You know what I mean? So what level do you guys say you guys are at right now? No right or wrong answer here. Maybe he's level 10, you're 11. No, I think that, I don't know. I, I think that we would probably not give ourselves enough credit in mm -hmm. some aspects because I think that, you know. Unless, Why is that though? You know, because, I, hey, you know, we just see the opportunity that exists in the space and we know it's not going to happen overnight mm -hmm. but we're you know we're fixated on making those things happen um so you know every day i think that we're growing but you know you know if we look at it it's like there's if we look at the summit of the mountain there's still a mountain to climb right so true right so it's like but we enjoy that journey so i don't know yeah. well, I some to, people are out here climbing mountains with no harness well, that's just right. You know right? what I mean? Some people are just taking the yeah. helicopter to the top, yeah. right? So, yeah, yeah, that's what right? I'm saying. So, but you know. Easy way. But how are you climbing that mountain, though? You that's know? Right. you got to figure it out. Right? I don't <laughs> do heights too well, so I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, it'd be difficult for me to give you a, a number, but I, I think that, uh, you know, we're still in the early stages, right? And mm -hmm. I think that, mm -hmm. you know, for us to get ahead of ourselves to say that we're any further than, um, the early stages of that growth trajectory would be, uh, I think, it would be foolish, right? No, for sure. We need we need to continue to build traction and momentum and surround ourselves with good people and good partners. Yeah. And I think if we do that, um, that'll only you know help us scale the way we want. You're gonna remember too, like we're you know we're in a new space, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and I mean, who are who are we so far? Right? You know, that's what the big you guys are doing can, well. I'll but, give you I'm gonna give you guys your roses today. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Well, but I mean there's a lot of growth ahead of us and we're okay with that, you know? We, yeah. So uh yeah, I mean I we're pushing. We, we gotta stay grounded. Like I mean, we have people that tell us, you know, a lot of great things, right? But it doesn't really matter until mm -hmm. we put that into execution and mm -hmm. and we need to tell we need to let, you know, the consumers continue to tell us, you know, what we need to know oh, sure. and yeah. be able to adjust if that mentality changes. Right. Sure. Cause it really doesn't matter. We're in like the, the consumer packaged goods, you know, space and uh, consumers yeah. are the ones that drive, you know, the purchasing and we have to be able to, uh, to so adapt. The social media too. Yeah. You get that one viral moment. It's like, yeah. boom, <laughs> snap your fingers. It is. Yeah. You know, I see you guys have product placement already in magazines also too. Yeah, yeah. I saw that the yeah, other day. Yeah. I'm paying attention. I know what's going on. Yeah. You know, we, we, you know what? Honestly, we've been fortunate. Like I said, like we've been really fortunate 
to surround ourselves with some really good people to and, and based on that you know get referred to some various mm -hmm. you know media outlets and things like that that have enjoyed our story um, and they're willing to talk about it um, it's crucial for us to to have those relationships right mm -hmm. yeah, and then you know sure. certainly we have a, a strong desire to pay that forward you know um, over the, the over thing. the months and years ahead yep. um, you know we've we've got a lot of great advice from you know people that have have much more seasoned in entrepreneurship than us. We have still have a lot to learn, but this is this is the exciting part, though, right? Like, yeah, this is for like, sure. No, definitely. You know, definitely. like how good is the story in five years from now if you didn't have all the things that we're going through today, right? So true. So, That's how you build. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. This man's got the million dollar smile, eh? That's right. We put him in front of the camera. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> He's excited. The guy's excited. I know, right? He's always excited. Or is it it's like, was this your first one today? Or? Yeah. Second. It second is my one? second. Yeah. 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 Look, we have a lot of fun at this office. I see that. I see that. <laughs> so. No, for sure. So what is, what is something that you guys want to do just like within the next, what, we're in February right yeah. now? Yeah. It's a short month, mm -hmm. right? You guys wake up first thing in the morning. You have your meetings and things like that. Mm -hmm. What keeps you giving the momentum to keep going, right? as a team yeah i mean even today we had you know we woke up for with a pretty strong reason to uh to get our butts in gear you know and it's securing uh, a few key deals you know it, it, that's exciting right like you know we, we're at this deal making point with you know various chains and stuff so i think you know that's one thing we can speak to today right to a degree i mean it's yeah. not it's not there yet but today was a, a great call i love it you know before we uh before we had you and no spoilers uh, no no, no we, spoilers. We, we can't do that i see right? the smile so it gotta be somebody <laughs> like it was a, it was, it's, yeah it's, it's a great opportunity yeah okay. it'd be a great opportunity right okay. so you know so that that excites you but i can I can tell you now, like, uh, once we, if we do get it, right? If you will. Yeah. We don't so do ifs over here. No, we we're not. Yeah. <laughs> you will. You got to put that energy out there. Exactly. I think so too. I think yeah. So too. Yeah, yeah. So I think, uh, you know, then it's go time, but then it's right off to the next one. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's always, I don't know. When is it ever enough? You know, it's like, I don't know. you got to keep climbing the mountains. Yeah. Well, here's the, th here's the thing that we both, uh, I believe, you know, struggle with in the sense that, you know, the journey along the way there's a lot of like small wins right and we acknowledge them i don't know if we celebrate them enough i don't think a lot of people do right i, I mean, don't think we do no i don't think mm -hmm. we do right and because and this is a big i'm big on this as it relates to you know building our team here matt is the same in the sense that if you lose sight of the small wins along the way then when the big prize at the end is still great but you know i, I just think that there's there's more to it than that right oh, for sure. mm -hmm. so yeah so, so I'm gonna switch my I'm gonna switch my direction because you were in the gym gym industry. So yeah. is this something that I could do in the gym before workout? Or yeah. No, I did yesterday. Yeah. yeah. How'd your workout go? Great. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's actually right. good. Like even like because I know that there's amino acids in this too, right? Yeah. So I was gonna yeah. say like it's kind of good like post workout too. Yeah. Um. So it really depends on you know what you're feeling. I think at that mm -hmm. any given yeah. moment, right? Whether you you need that little bit of boost to to start your workout or you want something to kind of maintain your energy kind of post-workout because there is you're right there's some amino acids glutamine those types of things in here so mm -hmm. it's uh certainly beneficial that way oh for sure yeah oh, absolutely so with the social media presence that you guys have yeah in this digital age it's mm -hmm. always growing for sure where is that who's that one person on the bucket list that one person let's put it out there today sure who's that one person that you'd want to see have this can on social media i'll start with you sir Oh, you're gonna start with me. Uh huh. I think I'm a Giants fan. So was <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's no one on the Giants right now that I want. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> shots fired. Eh, at the Giants. Saquon. Is there he still go. gonna be there? I don't know. <laughs> he's gonna go over here laughing at us too, eh? Yeah, he, he's this just like, this is gonna be. Great. You love this, eh? The banter. Uh, the like gonna <laughs> you know. Okay, so I, I look at our brand in a few ways. So if you know, we're very much geared to like our mantra of, you know, you know, visionaries, overachievers that way. I'll, sp I'll take the entrepreneurial side out of the, to this because I think it's a, it's a good fit. I look like a guy like Grant Cardone or something like that, Ooh. right? From like, you, you know, said that, the name I like, yeah, like, you okay. know, like, like 10 X kind of, yeah, yeah, you know? Hey Grant, yeah. if you're watching, yeah. you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so, you never know what might happen. That's right. So, you know? but I look at that and I think like beyond the fact that he's, you know, this whole 10 X thing, but I, you listen to a guy like that and, you know, 
speaking to this like no limits you know opportunity that we talk about mm -hmm. but really like you know overachievers not really you know putting boundaries on yourself right so I think he would be a good good guy in, in terms of one of the verticals that we, yeah. we speak to. So yeah. if we, you know, we South Beach, Miami. Yeah, so we often you know the coordinates, you know, take a trip. Let's, let's hop on a plane. Our social media manager would love that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Miami? When? Let's go. She, Let me know. I might join. I might join. There might be a possibility. I might join. She, she's a U of M alumna. This is a lot of business and real estate in Miami, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm just keeping it real. It's business you know opportunity. I mean? yeah. Business opportunity. Big time business opportunities. So just to add to that, so you know, we Matt and I look at our business in in social side as like in different verticals, right? So mm -hmm. so who who do we appeal to, right? And sure, naturally it, it it appeals to like fitness, right? Yeah. But we also look at like a big stake in like entrepreneurship, right? Yeah. Um, you know, so that's something that, you know, there's a lot of beverages out there. I and mean, you look at some of the bigger ones, it's pretty obvious and who they appeal to. And we want to try to, you know, take a different no, approach, I like that. right? Grant, yeah. Grant yeah. So yeah. That, I would, that would say the entrepreneurial side, that's what I would say. Yeah. And you can. Yeah. I think even with where we're at, you know, we didn't start this off with, um, say, you know, any one big influencer where they had, you know, that input, you know, right from the get go, like, uh, perhaps some other brands that are out there. Yeah. Right. Which is, uh, and which is okay. Um, you know, but like, just like he was saying, you know, we've kind of looked at different verticals and said, what, what can that look like? Even if it's maybe uh, perhaps music producers, right? Mm, right? I like where you're going. You know, so yeah. I think when you start getting into that, you know, could we look at, say, the dance music scene and, and who is, you know, prominent in that area, you know, and has got all the attributes that Micah spoke of, yeah. right? Um, on that level, or maybe it's country, or, you know, maybe we go into a different vertical, which we're looking at as well, which is with uh, racing, right? Auto racing, mm. you know? But and, you like that, you like yeah, auto, F1, yeah. NASCAR? F1, I'm an F1 guy. Uh, yeah. Like everybody in this world likes F1. <laughs> I'm not gonna slander F1 on the podcast. Yeah, hey, listen, You're a NASCAR guy? No, I don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, was say, you don't I can't do that guy, stuff, no. man. Yeah, yeah so. You do NASCAR, F1? I, I do not. Sunday yeah. morning, just waking up, just watching F1? No. <laughs> That's not me. No, I'd rather, be, I'd rather be in the car personally. Yeah, but, yeah. But it's, Have you? Uh, no, just just my uh, just my car. Not not no F one car. So basically, X Expone is going to be on one of them cars soon. We're going to get on a car at some there point. There you go. Let's talk mm. about it. NASCAR, maybe. No. No. Why not? No. Why not? <laughs> okay. So pull up at Daytona. No. no. Okay, but hold on, hold on. This is this is. I think about, I'm saying. I think I'm saying automatic no because you're like, oh, F one guy, right? But you're F one NASCAR. <laughs> there, the wheels on the bus go round and round. No. <laughs> Well, he would, he would disagree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, does it not? It does. <laughs> so, when we talk about like our, uh, this is, we got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you know, the reality is there's lots of opportunity, honestly, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. into the uh, the racing space, whether it be you know like F1 or I mean that's the uh, the dream maybe at some point to, sure. to do something like that. Yeah, but yeah. you know with tons of success opens a lot of doors, right? So we got some work to do, uh, but certainly on a you know more I'll say like a uh, regional kind of level. Um, you know, there's some opportunities that we're, we're working on right now. And making um, it authentic too, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, like people who are like actually speaking and breathing what we believe in within the brand, For I sure. think is important. Yeah. I mean, know? here's the reality. Why is this not a part of like business functions and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it could be, you know, honestly, yeah. we're, mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of interest in just like businesses in general. Yeah. Um, you know, liking in terms of what the contents are to the drink sure. and, and saying, like, I'd be willing to give this to my staff. So yeah. like this, like business to business opportunity is like mm -hmm. something we never really thought about, no. but it's certainly mm -hmm. being brought to us as opportunity. But when we look at like our brand, the reality is, and we talk about, you know, whether it be um, the creators and those types of entrepreneurship, it's yeah. like people that can portray something that other people aspire to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And we always joke and say like, you know, what's no, like something that's not normal, like not, not everyone can just do it, but that's what we aspire as people to do things that are maybe, you know, unconventional or, you know, things that, you know, we talk about, you know, whether it be a country music singer, like, you know, coming on stage in front of thousands of people or any entertainer for that matter. And like that rush, you know, who does a good job with that Nike, you know, that storytelling kind of really less about product, uh, but really, you know, inspiring right yeah they so, got a background story yeah sure yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for sure so yeah. that's kind of where we're at and you know i i think that we're going to end up with 
you know, uh, a bunch of different verticals where we're going to have yeah. influencers that fit into those areas uh, that can speak to a kind of a wide cross section of our audience. Oh, absolutely, sure. absolutely. Yeah. I want to see the I want to see the promo behind of the launch party and things like that too. I want to be in the building for that. Yeah, that that'll be it'll be exciting. With the gold ticket, <laughs> the gold envelope. Yeah, you have to so sealed. That'll be exciting. That'll and be, delivered. It'll be exciting times, man. White glove treatment, yeah? No, but not excited. white glove treatment. He's I'm excited. getting it delivered to you, man. He's going to get it delivered. <laughs> to get a case, you know? Get a case. You never know, right? No, for sure. So, before we get out of here, 1% better is my motto. How do we become 1% better? From your point of view? Okay. And we'll flip it to your point of view. Sure. You know, I think, like, just... I look at the authenticity side of things and just, you know, genuinely giving out what you expect to get back or, or sorry, not expecting to get anything in return. Right. I think that we've been really authentic in our, in our approach to, to building our business and, and establishing relationships mm -hmm. and with, in doing things that really we expected nothing in return for. And I think that's a really important piece to, to anyone or everyone to just do things genuinely with with nothing uh putting out nothing or putting things out there with you know expecting nothing in return so i think that's a big part for me um you know we matt and i you know earlier in the year we even tried to you know just make the necessary connections to 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 help and to offer you know some um some assistance and whatever that may be, um, not expecting anything in return. And that's been reciprocated to us, you know, time over time over time and in a big way, much more, yeah. I would say, in terms of what others have offered us than what we could offer them. So, oh, so true. you know, I so think true. that really that authenticity in terms of what you, yeah, what you put out there for sure. Okay. sure. Yeah. Um, I think, I think for us, I mean, we had a real, uh, a real situation even in the last month or so where, you know, it comes back to never settling. Right. Love and that. how can we actually make all of what we're doing better? But um, this was actually about the drink, you know, and we and it came down to how can we make this thing even better? You know, uh, it's, it's vegan. It's zero sugar. There's zero sucralose. There's zero ASK. There's, you know, um, there's there's lots of ingredients here that are, you know, there's pink Himalayan sea salt, there's coconut water. But then we said, well, how can we take this thing even further? You know, some, what's something we didn't think about? And uh, and we and we were like, let's get rid of the preservatives. Like let's you know let's go even further. And then what is it going to take to do that, right? Um, and we thought I don't know. Well, let's see, right? And then now we're going to change uh, the process in which we do the manufacturing and so on. We had to change the labels, you know, uh, on both sides of the border. There was a ton that came with it, but we we didn't want to settle with it, you know. So we said, well, let's do it. Like let's address it and make it like one percent better. Love that, right? And I like um, how you tied all that up right there. And, and, and gifted it. And quite frankly, <laughs> white glove treatment. Quite frankly, we were for a little bit really happy with it. Yeah. You know, it's our first one, right? You know, like oh, look at this thing, right? It's it's sexy. It tastes good. People are digging it. Um, but we had some time to sit on it, and you know, we thought, hey, what else can we do before we go to market um, here in Canada? And that for us was like, ah, it's just that much better, Love right? That. So, yeah. so yeah. So I think just that, man. Okay. Yeah. Love that. So I got one last question. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> you guys both crack open an energy drink. And let me just say this question here now. So push up competition. <laughs> it was a round of 20. Who's finishing first? First. Oh, speed. Full reps or <laughs> full reps. Yeah. Test the ground. <laughs> okay. Because Matt did some on his birthday that he was getting ridden on social media for. They were like three quarter reps, right? Yeah. So, so I did extra. So we had to I do did 10 extra, though. I knew there was going to get called out. So Cross I said, I'll thing? Do 10 is it CrossFit thing, right? Yeah. 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 Plus, I have a shoulder injury. So. Oh, you have a shoulder <laughs> injury. You have a shoulder injury now, yeah? yeah. I'm on the IR. You're on yeah. the IR. Yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah. Aren't we all on IR? <laughs> okay. Squats. 100 squats. Bang out one energy drink. 100 squats. Who's winning? Healthy competition. Were you a CrossFitter? Nope. Yeah. Strength and conditioning. Wow. Come on now. Jeez, CrossFitter. I wasn't expecting the, the air, so I wasn't expecting the air so squat. Disrespectful. <laughs> so disrespectful. Well, here. Mike is probably stronger than me. Is he though? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, well, uh, I've gotten my, my weight's gotten down to like my high school weight. As you can't of late, you finesse know? though. 
We'll finesse. Yeah. Air squat. Well, are we talking air make squats? Yeah, say air squats. <laughs> okay, well, like, what kind of squats are you doing? Well, I don't know if you wanted to put weights on it. Like, it's a very big difference, you know? Oh, so, Lord. I can so, sure go deeper, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you so didn't answer the question. Bodybuilding days. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. <laughs> Matt. Matt would do more air squats than me. <laughs> He's a pusher. He wants to know the answer. <laughs> to a degree. Yeah. I'm putting it it's out there. Do you want me to put it on social too? Matt, Matt would do more air squats than I. Yeah. But he can do every weight. He can do every weight? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So it's like we're both winners today. All right. What about burpees? Oh, my God. I smoke his ass. <laughs> wow. Okay. For 30 seconds. Okay. And then I, <laughs> I might have to do a social media poll. You guys might have to just yeah, but, run the gauntlet. But, I mean... Yeah, I don't, I don't, have you done a burpee, Mike? Oh, yeah, you, you did. Uh. Jesus. <laughs> he's calling you out on the show. Have I even done a burpee? Oh, my goodness. Well, he's like, he, he's definitely like a strong, he's like bench, squat, yeah. deadlift guy. Yeah. Right? So, I, I mean, it's so. like, I used to do burpees. Yeah, so it's like asking like a. Back in the a, day, like in. Uh, I had a rule over 6'4", you don't do burpees. That's just me. I'm 6'4". So. <laughs> I have no excuse then. <laughs> yeah, no burpees. You got to clear all that ground underneath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, don't, sure. I don't like burpees. It's all good. Uh, so. Well, I do appreciate you guys. Everybody check out your guys' social media presence. So they can find us at our website. So www.drinkexponent.com. And then through you know Instagram and Facebook at uh, Drink Exponent. So. Oh, for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you're not still working with the gym or anything like that? Or is that no. kind of like a side thing? No, no. I don't know. Maybe you're just sitting back <laughs> just chilling. Like Don Carleone, yeah? Oh, uh, no. See, you never went into enough detail about what you were doing most recently. So that's why. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, this like guy, what me? This guy, you know, he's found a lot of success, like through direct to consumer marketing stuff. So yeah. you never really went into that, but yeah, yeah, we can. But we're going all out uh, on exponent. So yeah, okay, yeah, that's what well, the maybe that's a side. You know, just getting money accumulating. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah right. for sure. All right. Well, for I do sure. appreciate you guys, and we'll do this again you on bet. a bigger scale. You bet, buddy. Miami. Let's do it. We'll grant in the but building. Be but before that, what's up? I think that you and Mike should have some type of uh, fitness competition. No, since we're good here. We don't do that. that. No, so no, we're good. You want to do some air squats? Put Mike on no, I'm not doing air squats. My body's too beat up lately. <laughs> I traded, I, okay, so here's the thing is, right? I still work out and stuff like that. Yeah. But I traded, like, I came from the health and fitness background. Sure. Mm. I traded that all in for this mic. So that's what I'm doing now. Well, it's working. So. To a degree. We appreciate you. I do appreciate you too. Yeah. yeah. No, Thanks for having us. For sure.